all right folks welcome back to the channel it's friday another day of modern street hemi shootout today they're going to run the bracket class and the rookie class till completion and they're going to run all the index classes tomorrow so stay tuned lots of racing coming up in here shortly y'all you saw it on the thumbnail heard it on the intro we're here at the modern street hemi shootout at maryland international raceway uh, like i said we're doing the bracket class today uh, for those of you that are in the rookie class they're doing the rookie class today and they're doing all the index races tomorrow so we're just going to go down the lineup let you know who's here who's racing uh we're going to try and line up against gino again just to see where he wants to see where he's at <laughs> so let's go down the line seen sour horsepower before he's doing a lot of good stuff on his channel so if you uh, skip on over there give him a subscribe well good old shake and bake you know she's here she's ready to go all right we got Mike and his Hellcat uh, he ran nines a nine nine about three weeks ago so he's looking for big numbers all right we got Gino and his Daytona all right, we got SRT Bone in the the uh, wide body red eye. Hello, y'all. <laughs> All right, we got Larry in the Scat Pack. You guys have seen this one before too. Oh man, he went all out now. He's got skinnies up front. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's he's cheating. He's cheating on me. He's cheating on me getting them skinnies. But uh, I think we all got. Oh, except for you. You don't have skinnies, huh? Man, you got to get with the program, man. Falling behind. Making all that YouTube money, man. You should have skinnies by hey, now. Hey, Golly, man. Where, you been to the dyno yet? Where's your dyno numbers? Ha. <laughs> you, people would, you people stuck on your dyno numbers, man. I'll give you some times today. How about that for dyno numbers? But no, we're going to get shake and bake on the dyno probably maybe next week, week after. Uh, we'll get her to the dyno eventually. But uh, that's the lineup. We're about to head to the driver's meeting. So we'll see you in a second. All right, folks, we're a little late for the driver's meeting, but we're going to catch the rest of it. Somebody goes to the best reaction time. Is right now? As you're coming in your head. So stay with me between our private class and the majority of the all three take private classes. It's on the other class. It helps. 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 For God's sakes, man. <laughs> Do not lean on that car, by the way. <laughs> it was me! Oh, sorry. Alright, so, random pairing got a 16 repaired up based on reaction time. 500 Pro Tree, find your dial on, the, on your window when it's elimination time. You're going to get two time trials prior to elimination to bracket. Courtesy staging during eliminations only will be enforced. Courtesy staging means. If you pull in and you light one ball, you must wait for your competitor to light at least one stage ball prior to you light two. If you accidentally double bulb someone, meaning you go in all the way and you light two before they get anything, sit still, do not back out unless the starter backs you out. Because what oftentimes happens is your competitor, when you put your car in reverse, jumps in and stages. And then all of a sudden, you're on the clock. If you're driving in reverse, you're like, what's going happen? Do not back out unless the starter backs you out. If your competitor go ahead stages while you double bolt, that means they're accepting the double bolt. Does everyone understand that? Because that's a little bit of a tricky one. Okay, I get what you're saying about do not back out. Is, are you going to instruct the starter to back out the guy who has committed the double bolt? That's correct. If someone double bolts, the starter is supposed to back you out. But if the timing is so quick that the competitor jumps in, He's not going to back you out. Okay, because that's an important point. Because sometimes you'll be sitting there with both bulbs up, thinking, "Okay, this guy's going to back me out." Right. Then the other guy comes in, the tree drops, if, and you're late. If your competitor goes in, the race is on. Does anybody have any questions on that? If you want to deep stage today, you are allowed to deep stage. The track is not going to cater to it or wait on you. It's up to you to get deep. If you don't know, do 
not know what that means, don't worry about it. Let your competitor red light and you're gonna go. <laughs> Basically, they're trying to get a little deeper in to get a better reaction time, and oftentimes that puts them like in that very small window where they red light and they just move a little bit. So just don't worry about what they're doing. You just pay attention to your side of the tree and react accordingly. Does anybody have any questions on bracket? You're right in your dialing, it's handicap racing, slow car gets a head start, and all that stuff. We're good there? Alright, next up is 850. Back to your one I'm 850 index. 850 index oh, wait, heads up wait. rate. I got one question. <laughs> what happens if the guy that leaves first red are you on true start? And what happens if the guy that leaves first goes red? It's the, it's the worst foul. The red light goes out of that bus. So if both guys red if light. Someone, when leave. If someone red lights, the race at that point is over. Is the track the using true start? They do not use true start. That's like a separate mode. So the slower car will be able to see the red light. From the yeah, back. you're gonna see the guy went red. You're just gonna no the faster car. The faster car. The faster car is gonna see the slow car have already red lit. Okay. All right. And if the two people break out, the worst foul loses. Okay. All right. 850 index. Heads Super up state. racing quarter mile. Yeah, I'm going down the First to the finish line wins, except you cannot go quicker than 850. I know there's like 850 cars here. Next up. 10-0 index, heads up racing, 500 pro tree, 500 pro tree, first and the finish line wins, you can't go quicker than 10-0. 50 index, heads up racing, quarter mile, 500 pro tree, first and the finish line wins, except you can't go quicker than 10-50. 11-50, same thing, 12-50, same thing. Are we good with the index class? Anybody have any questions on index racing? It's heads up racing, first and the finish line wins, except you can't go quicker than the class. Good. All right, then we have our Legion of Demons. Legion of Demon is heads up racing. Just make sure I'm not making a mistake. Stock minimum weight of 4280 with driver after your pass and during qualifying because you got to prepare to put a ladder. You must weigh in every pass today. The demons are weighing in. If there's any questions on what you're allowed to have. Byron's got the rules. You gotta be a stock car. I think wheel change is the only thing you're allowed and weight reduction and that's it, correct? It's gotta be a factory two. Oh and that's it. No if, ands, or buts about it. Every pass today, the demons must cross the scales. Because it's a laddered class. Good? Rookie class. Rookies. There should be eight of you here. 500 Pro Tree bracket racing. I want my rookies to stick around and I'll go over the whole class with you and explain everything nice and thoroughly so you're comfortable. The rest of you, one more time, does anyone have any yeah, questions about what you're doing today? You get two classes. <laughs> if you think you broke, you broke. Alright, lift, come to a stop as safely as possible. Please pull off to the side, let them come to you. Do not drive down the entire length of the track when you heard a loud pop. 40 feet. Please. That kills the program. It costs us an hour every time that happens. Not you think you broke, it's all pretty good. Lift, take free ball off to the side, and let them come just check you out. We're good there? Helmets, windows up, no air conditioning, uh, closed toe shoes, long pants. Make sure you give Stella a high five. Okay. I know some of you don't know really what class you want to run in, but you did declare today to attack. If you want to change classes, meaning you want to go from 1050 to 10-0, you're allowed to do it. But you must, must, must go to the tower so they can pull you out of the previous class, and you must, must, must qualify in the new class. Does that make sense? Yeah. If not, it'll mess up the ladder. You'll be in two classes. You'll be like, why is this guy not showing up? Please do not top three classes. Only qualify the class you want. If you want to change, you must tell the tower, and then you must re-qualify in the class. Are we good? And how long do you got to do that? We got all day till tomorrow morning. Because we get one. You should know that like in the first 30 minutes. You know what I mean? Like the first couple classes, you should know that. Okay. <laughs> and we get one pass tomorrow. We get one pass tomorrow, right? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, when we go into our program tomorrow morning, you're going to get one more qualifier for that index heads up class, and then we're going into elimination. Are we good there? Please.
please, please, take the time sometimes to come up and grab a shirt. I'm sorry, he can buy a shirt. <laughs> stickers. The East Coast Boulevard stickers must be on your car. The Z Automotive stickers must be on your car. The AAV Florida stickers must be on your car. Everything else is optional. I truly appreciate you guys coming out. We're going to be right here for all questions. Listen to the call you late. Have fun. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. That's it for the driver's meeting. Head back to the cars. Wait till they call us up to the lanes. Round one. All right, folks. We're going for our first time run for the day. We're only going to get two. We're going up against Gino and his Scat Pack, or his Daytona, I'm sorry. Uh, 392 Daytona. So we're pulling up to the box now, getting ready to go. like it spun I'm guessing we're probably same thing we got yesterday because the DA is about the same 937 feet 93% humidity so we're probably in the same boat uh, as we were before uh, went back to the side shot for you folks uh, for one time the rest of them I think we'll get uh, we'll get from the front but uh, let's get the uh, top slip glasses though I'm already looking at it uh, we'll grab the time slip go over it and then we'll go back to the pits and wait for our second round alrighty thank you sir all right one six eight to the 60 foot 7.5 to the 8th at 92, almost 93 miles an hour. 11.73 at 116. So, uh, being that we hooked up, I think I'm going to put a couple more pounds of uh, air in the tire. See if that helps my uh, track speed a little bit. Get us, to the, uh, get us to the finish line a little bit quicker. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go back and see what happens. Got to figure out what we're going to dial in for the bracket class, too. So I got to be careful. So heading for the pits. We'll be back in a minute. Round two. All right, folks. This is our first 12.50 qualifier. So we're going to have to slow way down because we ran 11.7 earlier. guy beside us said he's ran a 12.5 and a 12.6 so we'll see what <laughs> we'll try and pace ourselves with him time slips got to say and uh, hey we'll kind of go from there 
<laughs> that was weird, that's for sure. I don't know if I caught back up to him at the end or what. <laughs> hey, this is this is more fun than just racing. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the app up real quick. Oh, we ran a 12.79. <laughs> Terrible reaction time. Alrighty, thank you, sir. Oh, ah, you know what? I can see without the glasses right now. It's daylight. So we're car 965, 1626 foot, 82 to the 8th at 70, 79 miles an hour, 12.79 at 110 and he had a 12.5 at 110 <laughs> Woo! let's see did I get him on reaction time yeah I got him on reaction time too I was just a little bit too slow uh, in the end he caught me he got me at the finish line uh, but that was pretty fun running 12.50 class <laughs> With an 11.7 second car. We're just going to stick with the 12.5 class because I'm in fifth place right now. Got a chance of possibly, you know, boosting up to third place if I can do pretty good today. Or, well, tomorrow in the 12.5 class. But, now hey, we're going to go back to the pits. Wait for our next probably bracket run. Uh, but we'll see what they call us up for. All right, folks, I got to get better <laughs> at doing this stuff at the track when this stuff happens. I should be videotaping everything I'm doing uh, while I'm at the track. But it just, you know, things happen. You get frustrated. You're trying to fix it. You're trying to get back up in the line. They had already called up uh, the bracket class for their first elimination round. And I was trying to get it fixed, trying to get up there uh, so I can stay in, you know, in the racing, in the elimination bracket or the... Uh, the, the bracket class stay in that race. Um, wound up, I missed the first eliminations, so that really kicked me out of the rest of the bracket races. Uh, so you're only gonna see, I think, one or two timed runs I did uh, for the bracket class, and I did two runs for the 12-5 index class, uh, which is going on Saturday, uh, which I didn't go back for. Uh, it was just a long day, Friday, uh, you know, things happened, got a little frustrated. Uh, I just wanted to come home and, and, and relax. Uh, though it was a Friday, I did stay the rest of the night with uh, Gino and Mike. Uh, and we did some uh, their uh, MIRs, Street Madness, uh, Shootout, Bracket Race. So that's going to be in the next video. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, but what happened to me today is uh, I was heading to the lines car just shut off just died right in the middle of the right in the middle of the road so i'm like oh gosh here we go <laughs> what's happened now so long story short uh we go round and round we're looking at the engine you know looking at the engine bay looking you know there's no engine lights or anything like that so nothing really to tell us what's going on uh but finally uh you know i put it in the run and i didn't hear the fuel pump come on. So I'm like, okay, that's probably the issue. So one issue in the install that I didn't go over is we blew a fuse. Uh, so we just swapped out a, a, a 30 amp fuse into the fuel pump and, and that fixed it. So I thought maybe that was the problem. Uh, so I went back, looked in the fuse box, pulled the fuse out, looked at it. Didn't look like it was burnt, uh, but I flipped it with the same because I bought a new fuse. I flipped it with the same fuse that we flipped uh, uh, for the install and I heard the fuel pump come on but it wasn't as loud as it usually was instead of a you know a louder hum buzz like you hear it come on it was really low and and could barely hear it was more like mm. so uh, you know in texting uh, wide body Mopar Mike the guy that did the install I uh, went back and forth and I went, well, first I went looking for a new pump. I'm like, oh gosh, now the fuel pump's bad. So I'm running around 
uh, you know, probably 45 minutes to an hour trying to find someone that has a fuel pump. So finally I text, you know, I text Mike and I'm like, Hey dude, you know, something's wrong with the fuel pump. I think I got a bad fuel pump. Uh, and he's like, well, you know, we went back and forth. He's like, well, it might not be the fuel pump. Go back, open it up, look at it. You know, uh, you know, because it's that low hum, it may have just, a, a maybe a hose popped off. Uh, so I go back, open up the fuel pump and lo and behold, uh, here's a picture of it. Uh, one of the hoses popped off the top of the fuel pump. So now I'm out walking around, uh, uh you know, Hey, anyone got a hose clamp? So finally fo find, uh, found a, found a hose clamp, uh, went in, uh, got the hose hooked back up, got it clamped back down to the top of the fuel, uh, the fuel pump, got the fuel pump back in. And I'm telling you that little black ring around the fuel pump, trying to get that thing back on without the right tool is is a pain in the rear end but eventually we got it back on got back out there did another uh 12.5 index run which you'll see uh you'll see here in a minute uh but got it all done so you know friday or thursday it was the fuel issue which we're still having i'm still trying to figure that out uh saturday another fuel issue uh with a hose popping off the pump got it fixed got back on the racetrack uh, did another run uh, for the Modern Street Hemi shootout and then did a couple runs, uh, you know, later on that night uh, at the uh, Midnight Madness, uh, which again is in the next video. So that's what happened. That's why we don't have uh, several more uh, races on this video uh, because it's, you know, it's racing. Stuff's going to happen. You're going to have to figure out how to fix it. Uh, you know, you're going to have to figure out how to troubleshoot find out what's wrong, fix it, get back on the track. Uh, it's just, I didn't get it fixed fast enough uh, to stay, you know, in the bracket class. And I didn't feel, you know, going back Saturday for, you know, one, two, you know, they were going to do one more qualifying run. Then you get a run in the 12-5 class. And, you know, if I would have broke out or got beat, I would only got two runs in today and just didn't feel like it was worth it at this point. Um, but like I said, we did come back for uh, the Midnight Madness Friday night. So check out that video next. So that's what happened with the fuel tank. That's what happened with the fuel issue. Uh, got it fixed. We're good to go for now. And got back on the track. So let's get back to the races. Round three. All right, folks, we're going up for our third run today. Ran into a uh, little snafu with the fuel pump. <laughs> uh, when I get back to the pits, because I think this is going to be our last run for today. Once we get back to the pits, I'll do a quick discussion on uh, what happened, how I fixed it, and uh, how we got back on the road to uh, get this last pass in. against Larry and his scat pack but like I said we got to do a 12-5 we already qualified in the first time because we ran a 12-7 got a little better uh, qualification time but uh, Sunday maybe uh, a day we're gonna go look at this fuel pump 
because uh, I think I broke the uh, the float. So the you know, car's reading like I'm out of fuel, but I know I got fuel. So I know we got at least half a tank for uh, before all this happens. So let's grab this old time slip, see what it says. thank you sir yeah. all right let's see one six six sixty foot seven five to the eighth at 93 whoo we were smoking and I let up 12 one at 94 miles an hour broke out bad real bad all right we're gonna have to go a lot slower next time <laughs> go a lot slower next time but hey once we get into the races all i got to do is keep up with who i'm beside and beat them to the finish line and hope hopefully whoever i'm racing isn't going too fast as well uh and as long as i beat them to the finish line i should be good to go hopefully we'll win a few races uh tomorrow uh, i think we may be finished for today but i'm not sure uh because Due to the fuel fuel pump situation, it kicked me out of the bracket class because they did an elimination uh, while I was fixing the car. Didn't get didn't get it fixed in time to get up there for an, for the elimination round, so pretty much got kicked out of the bracket class. Um, so it is what it is. They're supposed to be running all the index classes tomorrow. So what we'll do is, uh, yeah. See if we can get another maybe 12.5 run in. I don't know. They may let us get another one. Uh, if so, we'll run one more. Uh, if not, hey, we'll uh, call it a day and come back tomorrow. Round four. All right, folks. We're up for our fourth round today. Uh, I'm probably not going to come back for the 12.5 class tomorrow. So we're just going to let her eat and see what happens. We're just gonna let her rip, man. Who cares about a 12.5? <laughs> run a 12.5 at this point so let's run up here get the old time slip see what that old time slip says and we'll go from there yeah old shake and bake did hooked up pretty good that time Let's see if uh, fixing the fuel pump fixed any other possible issues we may have had. A little fast for the 12.5 club, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. 167 to the 60 foot, 75 to the 8th at 92, 11785 at 116. So it looks like we're we're stuck in this 11 7 area right now. DA, uh, you know, it's still 330. DA is still probably pretty awful. We can take a quick look here and see what it says. Yeah, air density is giving me uh, 1400 DA, 1416 with 77% humidity. Same exact stuff that was happening yesterday. So we're gonna go back to the pits and uh, probably call it a day uh, for this race. 
I think we're gonna stay tonight and do the uh, Street Midnight Madness bracket racing here at MIR. Uh, so stay tuned for that video too. That'll be a different video. So, all right, folks. That's gonna do it for this one. If you're stopping in for the first time, hey, check out the channel. Check out the other videos I got going on. If uh, you like what's going on with the channel, hook me up with those four things. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and shoot me a comment. All right. That's it for this one, folks. Until next time, adios.